Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'll be covering stage 3 prepare for planning and more specifically panoramic curve and nerve markings. I do not have a prosthesis scan in my project but that's simply because I'm not focusing on that at the moment for this video tutorial. This video tutorial is just specifically on how to draw a panoramic curve and a nerve marking. For a prosthesis scan please view video tutorials dual scan wizard. Let's begin. I'm going to now click on panoramic curve. I'm going to start off with my scroll bar being relatively close towards the top. I will leave a little bit of an extension and you can either follow the nerve or click on the thickest part of the jaw in the cross-sectional slice. I will take large scrolls. Too many points is not always good but what you want to do is have even points between each point and always click on the thickest part of the jaw. Do not click on this end of the jaw here because that is the bottom end of the crest and you are not actually in the right plane. You're not in within the center of the jaw itself. So the thickest part of the cross-sectional slice is generally where the thickest part and the middle part of the jaw uh, positioning is. So make sure that you only click on those regions. As I'm scrolling down, you'll notice that I'm going towards the midline and the bottom end of the field of view. I'm now going to scroll back up to do the other end and follow it back up again. You can either follow the nerve or the thickest part of the jaw. But to, just to be warned, a lot of the times you're not going to be able to see the nerves. Okay, and that's generally because either the bone is very soft or the low dosage levels can also play a factor in not being able to see the, the cross-sectional slices that clearly. Keep scrolling back up until you've reached that end and then just double click to detach that pencil. What I'm looking for is a scroll button relatively close to the mid part of the scroll bar and also it needs to be relatively small. If it is large and if it is not centered as close as possible to the midline of that scroll bar, you will not be able to slice right through to the lingual and also right through to the buccal or labial side of the surfaces of the, of the arch. So what I want to make sure here is to be able to see that the nerve markings are absolutely clear from both left and right hand side for the patient. If you need to redo your panoramic curve, you would have to delete the selected curve entirely and start again by clicking on Add Panoramic Curve. If you're happy with your panoramic curve, you can go down the list to where it says what to do next and click on Create Nerve. You would now need to scroll through to where you see your mandibular foramen. And now that I can see the nice opening, I can now click on Add Nerve and then start from the outside working my way in. Now at my bottom image on my panoramic image I can see my points on panoramic view of where I started and you can kind of see that I do not have a clear opening over there so I'm going to slice one or two slices until I see it opening. And You'd always have to work on it uh, from the closest to these points that you've started already because as you notice my pencil is still connected so it's still waiting on this position to go sideways. To the, towards the right, which is the patient's right. Slice one or two slices, eventually you will start to see that opening up. Again, do a few more slices and it opens up. The reason why you're having to slice through the arch is because the nerve is curving around the arch. You can continue going up the arch, although in this region here it's not necessarily vital because you're not going to be placing implants all the way up at this point here. But to detach that pencil all you need to do is double click and that detaches the pencil. To check each point you can click on the point on the on the panoramic image and if you need to adjust the position of the nerve you can hold down the center of that point on the cross-sectional image and let go. To do the same on the other side and click on the opening straight on here 
slice one or two slices just so I can see it nice uh, C shape and then click on add nerve start from the outside in while the pencil is connected to me I'll go down to the bottom image scroll I can see a nice straight line here so this side is a lot easier and click most of the way through because it is visible as it is on the screen again you can check each point let's zoom in let's say we are struggling to see what we're looking at use the magnifying glass draw a block around it and let go with the mouse on your left mouse button I'm ever so slightly to the side so what I want to do is actually drag that little point and move the nerve further into the actual chamber itself click on my next point check each point make sure everything is okay once I'm happy with the nerve markings on both ends I can then continue further down to where it says what to do next and click on implant please view my next tutorial on how to place implants